Hello. Well, tonight I'm going to start putting on some static grass on uh, the interchange scene. Uh, get get a little start on that. Uh, I plan on working on uh, the front edge of the layout like that. I'll probably work my way along the front edge. I don't know how much I'm going to get done tonight, but uh, work on it a bit. And uh, I'm going to be cut my glue together and this is a uh, 50% uh, water, 50% Elmer's white glue and a little touch of dishwashing soap, kind of break the surface tension. And I also got my grass. I'm going to start off with uh, some of this uh, two millimeter grass and uh, then probably along the front edge of the road make it look like it's mowed. Then as I work back, since this is in a country road, so to speak. Um, I'll just use the long, um, use the longer grass, a mixture of long and short grass, um, give it some variation along here. So I'm going to be using my uh, static grass applicator I put together. Um, I put together a more powerful uh, AC version of that. So uh, I'll be using that tonight. So first thing I'm going to do is start uh, Putting some brads in. I'm just going to tack them just to, just enough so that uh, alligator clip doesn't pull them out. But I don't want to tack them in too deep. And uh, put a couple one here, just like that. I think that ought to be adequate. Oops. All right. And one here. kind of work my way back. Filled my applicator with uh, some two inch grass and uh, I don't know the only way you can see that. And if you're in a hurry to get scenic supplies, I ordered, I, I ordered this uh, grass from Scenic Express uh, internet store and I got this like real fast like uh, within uh, three days of watering it. I mean, I ordered it on a Saturday and then got it on a Tuesday. So, uh, um, as far as I'm concerned, they're good with me. So, and I've got my glue. Couldn't find my eyedropper, so I had to use this little kitty syringe, which will work just fine. I got to get this. This is gonna soak into that dirt really good. So I'm gonna need to Actually, I'm just doing this small section here with shorter grass exclusively to make it look like uh, it's been mowed. So that was the idea. Okay. That's a little bit better. <clears throat> uh, let me put a little bit more of this uh, glue on. Get it all nice and nice and wet and what you want to make sure is that uh, the glue actually touches the nail so you get a uh, static current through there. At least that's how I understand it. Alright, let's go. All right, Got that stuff standing up okay, I think. And put some over here. Like that. Like that. Oh man, this stuff goes all over the place. I heard it does. And you can hear, oh man, this is going to be a wonderful thing to vacuum up. <laughs> oh, there you have it. Let's just say this is the bomb. Yeah. And this stuff's pretty slick. All right. Going to be mixing in some late color, late summer colors. As you can see, it's a little bit uh, lighter. Then uh, lighter green, a little bit more 
brownish tint into it. And uh, we'll probably mix in a little bit of autumn color too for a few blades, a few areas of grass that uh, have not gotten enough water. And just a little pinch of autumn grass. So we'll find a few dead blades of grass in there. It's kind of a brownish color. Really mixing up too well inside here. So I do want it to kind of be a little bit random. So I don't know if you can see that. Oops, there you go. All right. And uh, some of this glue is starting to soak into the grass that I just put down. That's not a big deal because I want this to blend together. So I'm okay with that. Let's go. It's a forest, a carpet, shag carpet. Look at that. Wow. Oh, maybe a little bit too much out there, but I can always vacuum up the excess. So that's a nicer, more natural looking blend, I think. Definitely. <clears throat> All right, man, this stuff makes a mess. <laughs> Be forewarned. Great. <laughs> 